taking a coin, drawing balls out of an urn and replacing them, throwing dice. And that's very simple. It's probability A times probability B. Dependent events are almost as simple. Uh, the, the cases that GMAT really likes to use are uh, drawing balls from an urn without replacing, where you've got a certain number of black and a certain number of white balls in an urn, and you draw three out. Well, the chances of drawing a white ball out on the third ball do depend on whether you've already drawn white balls on the first and second ball. Um, drawing cards from a deck, similarly, if you draw, uh, if you're trying to draw three queens and you've already drawn two queens, well, you ha still have a chance of getting a third queen, uh, but of course there's only two queens left in the deck. Uh, if you, uh, if you, uh, if you're trying to draw three queens and you've drawn uh, one queen and one king, well, of course, it's interesting to note that you know if you're only drawing three cards, you won't be able to draw three queens. Uh, but the, the odds change as uh, the as the the, the 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 events happen. So, how do we calculate uh, the probability of dependent events? We say, well, we can we multiply the probability of A times the probability of B, assuming A has occurred, and we'll see how that works uh, in this question. Okay, we're going to be looking at uh, question 217. These are dependent events. These are events where what happens when we select the, uh, the junior uh, affects the chances uh, when we select the senior. So if we say, um, oops, let me just turn that to a pen. What are the chances when we select a junior of uh, selecting someone who could be uh, a member of a sibling pair? Well, let's see. Um, when we select the junior, uh, we've got um, 60 uh, possible members of sibling pairs out of 1,000 students. Now we've got to multiply that by the probability of B, assuming that A has already occurred, assuming that, uh, the, that we've already selected uh, one of these uh, people from a sibling pair. Well, if we haven't selected any, if, if, if we've selected uh, one of the sibling pairs, well, it's not good enough for us just, just to select one of the 60 people who are uh, also sub part of a sibling pair, we've got to select the one who is a member of the senior class uh, who is the sibling of the person that we selected in the first pair. So the odds are not 60 out of, out of 800. The odds are only one out of 800 because we've not only got to we've, we're not only talking about selecting the uh, as I said, we're not, we're not only selecting the person, anybody who's a si part of a sibling pair, we're talking about selecting the sibling of the sibling that we first selected. So that's going to give us 60 out of 800,000. Uh, not very good odds, really. Uh, now, we can see that 60 out of 800,000 is not one of the answer choices, but hopefully we can quite quickly see that that's the same as 3 out of 40,000. Now, can you let me know via the chat message if that wasn't very clear to you, if my explanation of the, of the, uh, of the question wasn't very clear to you? Excellent. Thank you. I'm just going to wait until you've all three told me that, it's, uh, that it was clear. Thomas, okay, good. Thomas, good. Right, okay. Once more. All right. So the first step is to say to ourselves, well, let's, let's, uh, we've got to make sure that this is a, um, uh, we've got to understand that this is a, uh, a dependent event. The chances of selecting uh, the right sibling depend on what's happened, what, what happens the first time. When we select, uh, you know, we've got these 60 siblings, and when we select them, it changes the odds of whether we're going to select the right person the second time. So uh, let me draw an analogy with a deck of cards problem. If we said, um, we want to draw, uh, we're, we're, we're going to draw three cards in a row, 
and uh, we want to make sure that they're, they're straight, that they're in order of, e of each other, and not just that uh, we, we want to make sure that that straight is drawn sequentially. Well, the first time you draw, it does, the, the, the odds that you can create a, uh, that you're still going to be able to create uh, a three card sequence are uh, simply one. There's a 100% chance that the first card you draw is not going to affect your chances of doing it. The second card you draw, well, the, it can only be uh, the, one of the cards that, uh, that follows the card that you first drew. So if you drew a seven the first time, you've, it, your, your chances of continuing uh, the possibility of getting this straight are only equivalent to the possibility of drawing an eight. When you're drawing the third card, well, if you haven't already drawn, a, if you didn't already draw an eight the second time, then you're finished. Um, if you draw, if, and then you've got to say, well, the probabilities of drawing, uh, of continuing this run, are the probabilities of drawing a nine, a three-card straight. So each event is influencing the the result that you need on the next event. So here we have the same concept. Uh, we we want to say uh, we need. Uh, we have 60 sibling pairs, so in this junior class, we've got uh, 60 people who are siblings uh, of one of the seniors. And so if we pick any of those 60 out of the 1,000 uh, students in the, in the junior class, then our chances are still alive. If we d if in 94% 90, of the time, 940 of the students are not members of a sibling pair, so we have no chance. But if we pick uh, that six, that uh, one of those sibling pairs, we've at least got a chance of getting uh, the pair of brother and sisters, the right pair of brothers and sisters. Now, once we've selected one of those siblings, then we're no longer interested in picking just any sibling from the senior class. We can only pick the brother or sister of the person that we've already selected from the junior class. So it's no longer the case that any sibling will do. It's got to be the sibling of the person that we've already selected. So that's actually only one person out of the 800 people in the, uh, in the, in the, in the senior class. And of, then you're just multiplying it across and getting A. I hope that's clear, Ileana. If, if, if not, we'll, uh, just send me a chat message and I'll um, possibly try and talk you through it on the break or, or, or something like that. Okay, now let's, um, I think, you know, given 